Hey everybody, got another build here for you. This is the cigar box guitar. This um, this guitar. Sorry about that. Had a kitten, kitten sitting in my chair here. Uh, this actually was a combination of a cigar box guitar kit and a pre-made cigar box neck. Hi, princess. You want to help show off the guitar here? And what I did was, um, the neck was, it had the fretboard and had the frets already on it. And then uh, here, for the design of the actual cigar box itself, the guitar itself, what I did was I notched underneath on the front side of the neck so that there's clearance, a couple millimeters of clearance, and the, the lid of the box is fully floating, and it doesn't contact the neck at all. And the neck is only affixed to the front and back edges of the box. It does not touch the front or the back at all. They're both free to vibrate. Um, the tuners and the nut and I believe the strings and excuse me and the piezo pickup the pot and the jack and the box were all part of the kit and then the neck was separate and then I added strap locks and uh, oh and this little sound hole was also part of the kit and so, combining the two together, I came up with a cigar box guitar. Um, I fabricated up the bridge. I really should make a nicer bridge for this thing. And uh, it's got a great tone. Out of tune at the moment, apparently. But, yeah, so, now the... Uh, the box actually will open up, it just has two little, very small screws holding it closed, and no latch. As you can see there, no latch, so. And tone-wise, I mean, it's, it sounds like a great little cigar box guitar. They have their own kind of unique sound, kind of a, sort of a banjo kind of a sound to them. And uh, it's great for playing blues. You can, you know, just tune this thing to a, to a standard guitar cigar box type tuning and just play full bars up and down. And that's it, you know, just one finger full bars. And you've got chords every place. So yeah, real easy to play, a lot of fun to play, sound great. Um, the piezos work just fine the way I've got it set up. The piezo is between the bridge and the floating top. Uh, the fact that I designed it with both the floating top and bottom means that it really has a really nice unplugged sound to it. It's surprising, I mean, that, that's a really small sound hole, but you'd be surprised this thing will kick out a lot of sound for its size. And then when you plug it in, it sounds, you know, just the same, except you can amplify it more or less as much as you want, within reason, before feedback, so. So, yeah, there's the, uh, oh, let's see, the finish, uh, the neck and the body are done with spray lacquer, and this was way back in the day before I really got good at finishing lacquer finishes so it's not exactly shiny shiny and smooth smooth but it's it's okay it'll definitely protect it I probably should be putting a pick guard on this thing as you can see it's already starting to get some scratches from being played so I might actually go back and put on a few more coats of lacquer on this thing and polish it up and everything a bit but yeah lacquer and then I just just now before I shot this video I put some more some mineral oil on the uh, fretboard because it was looking a little on the dry side. I should have let it soak but it 
but I wanted to shoot this video and they don't they look a little messy when they're wet and soaking in the oil so I wiped it down first but yeah you can see here once again you get beautiful results with mineral oil nighty viscosity USP grade so that's it for this one and I'll see you all in the next build everybody have a good one